Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news, oh wait, what was the big news today? Oh yeah, the Olympics are still going on, but what did Obama do this time? Yeah. Oh. The, his economic plan is working. Wait a minute, that's not news. That's... <laughs> it's, it said it for 47 consecutive weeks. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, hmm. Well, <laughs> it's like, that's not news. Although they keep saying it again, like it is news. It's just to say the very same words, that for 47 consecutive weeks, the economic plan is working. It's slow, but we've had a steady progress forward. Yeah, well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Rice. So. And it's all over for the Republicans. Wait a minute, that's not news either. Well, yes, it is news because he, in fact, President of the United States has emphatically shown today that if you add more jobs to the uh, to the. The economy it makes the unemployment rate go up so his plan to destroy jobs actually reduces the amount of people unemployed what? Uh, stupid isn't it yeah. that if you the more people that go to work the higher the unemployment the less people that go to work the lower unemployment it has nothing to do they say with the fact that uh, you know that it that yesterday's figures that everybody was going by showed that there was only a 12,000 job growth in the month of in the month and that they lost jobs are nothing to do with the fact that 377,000 people flat out gave up looking for work because there isn't any. But it shows his plan for 47 consecutive weeks has worked, mm. which is to decrease jobs. And Syria says it could use chemical arms against foreigners. Oh yeah, that, uh, that you know, it, it, it's going to happen. It's, uh, okay, here's the big deal. The White House has had another leak. The White House has leaked that the President of the United States has personally okayed the United States' involvement in helping the rebels in Syria. And then that was followed with the CIA pointing out that we told the President of the United States not to say that because we think there's heavily Al-Qaeda involvement in the Syrian opposition. So and they basically stopped all over Obama's leak. And White House, no tolerance for leaks. Yeah, well, they're all coming from Valerie Jarrett. They basically found out where they're all coming. It's from the person that actually decides how things are going to go. They said her and Michelle Obama personally decide what the actions of the United States government is. And they said Michelle Obama is probably a better of the two, but the one that is the most to the left is Valerie Jarrett. She's the one that wanted all of these things done this summer that the president has been doing, which is basically, well, he has lost the Jewish vote, Mm -hmm. He's lost the Latino vote and he's lost the Afro-American vote because they're all heavy religious. And he threw the Muslim vote away because they don't believe in gay rights, period. Mm -hmm. In Colorado, shooting victims, your wife has baby, and seven victims, still critical. Well, yeah, oh, but here's the big thing. If it hadn't have been for the hospital instigating Obamacare early, these people would be stuck with bills they couldn't afford. No, when you go to emergency care, you never pay those bills, folks. When Obamacare takes in perfectly, there will be no more emergency care in this nation. Just standard care, which means if you break an arm and it has to be fixed immediately, you then have to wait in line to have your arm fixed. And it, may, it could be days or weeks before that happens. And background check applications for gun buys surge in Colorado. Yeah, isn't that a good one? Because it's having, what happens is, oh, the Democrats get on, we're going to ban weapons kick and that always results in sales of more weapons mm -hmm. and then that's not the whole well I don't understand what these people understand well the people do understand they know that Obama thinks that and those Democrats think that every weapon but theirs uh -huh. it is my guess that if you were to get a, a, a warrant to go into Obama's personal house in law in Chicago you'd find handgun stuff in that place none of them registered because Democrats always have unregistered handguns and medical marijuana hub in Los Angeles moves to ban dispensary yeah, they did pass the ban they are they did all of those things on like on Venice Beach are now officially shut made illegal because uh, what happens is uh, well, somebody is like cutting this stuff with oregano and other stuff. They're oh, really? Stuff, you know, weed, insecticide. That if we're going to open them, we're going to open up things ran by Jerry Brown's, uh, you know, state police, and they'll make certain that you only get the best quality marijuana, 
that they, they basically import from South America, well, we actually grow it in the foothills out here, but we will import everything that they're going to sell to people at a higher fee, which will result in less people using marijuana uh, legally, and then once again getting it illegally. And after Christian Bell visits Colorado shooting victims. I know, he's done it like three or four times now. Are you serious? The, the rule of thumb is, do okay, why does the Disney company so vigorously support, you know, its suits against people? I was talking to a person the other day about that. He said it's because if they don't go after the littlest thing, they surrender their right to what they're doing. So mm -hmm. by sending Christian Bale and Anne Hathaway and others there and offering to pay a million dollars, you know, in health hospital bills, they are admitting to liability, and you never admit to any liability. You basically tell the people, you know, we, you know what Christian Bell and Anne Hathaway and uh, Thomas Hardy could have done? They could have held a benefit for the people. Mm -hmm. That would have shown no liability. That would have shown sympathy. But by going, since they do not live in this country, to fly in to go to the thing, that shows that they think there's a culpability, which means they both open themselves up for litigation also. Oh, I'm sure they never thought about that. Yeah, that's right. And Philadelphia Monsignor in prison for covering up child sex abuse. Yeah, well, because that is a crime. Where yeah, not, that one is. It is. You know, not knowing, okay, knowing about it and doing nothing is not a crime. As they're fine, but they're punishing just the same, in, you know, especially your football. But not knowing about it and covering it up, that becomes a felony. And Wall Street falls as Europe hits earnings at Apple Falls. Oh, actually, that was yesterday's news. Today's news is they've made up all the losses on Friday. It seems that on Friday of every week, for some mysterious method, for as it's going into the election, Wall Street makes up all the losses is dead for like four straight days. And they did it on the day that uh, yesterday the news was horrible. They knew exactly how many people were being hired because they kept they paychecks. Mm. The company that handles paychecks said that only 12,000 new jobs were added in a month. Well, we found out today that they missed their figure by 150,000. Mm. How is that possible? How do you miss the checks that you're handing out by 150,000? That's mathematical. But then again, remember, uh, the Democrats probably figure out because this is, how does Democrat count to three? Inside China's at C N O O. <laughs> it broke, what? folks. I should not have done. That. You, I, I know. I'm like, why are you doing that? I didn't think. I did not think of that. He's like, oh shit. That's uh, called being hit in the leg by the carousel. As I'm going over it. In Inside China, C N O O C scoped Nexon, partnered, then pounced. Yeah, it's another one of these um, uh, uh, organizations that basically does not really work well in a communist country. They're trying to patrol them. Yeah, they don't care. And Apple blames rare miss on new iPhone anticipation. No, economy. they basically sold all they're going to sell. Okay, the last iPhone was nothing more than an upgrade to the other iPhone that no one liked. And, uh, and the new iPhone, they know doesn't, it's no, it has no backward compatibility, so it's worthless. I know, that's kind of screwy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think they've done that before, though. I mean, it still used the same you, case. You didn't turn the timer on. Of course I did. You just I'm just checking. On the screen. No. That, 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 that leaves an imprint on my video when you do that. It does? Yeah. Oh. That's why I don't do that. Oh, Oklahoma is so hot that street lamps are melting. Oh, we just came from Minnesota. We can tell you it's hot, folks. We were there. You know, people that were in business attire Street were in shorts and t-shirts for the baseball game that night. People that basically would never be caught wearing shirts and t-shirts during a business outing, and that's what that was. And Chinese teen kills eight in knife attack reports. Yeah, that, well, didn't we have that yesterday? Yeah, but they basically, it's a big news thing because the Democrats want to ban knives in our country now as a result of it. And Boehner, Obama has never had a real job, for God's sake. Yeah, you know, he's telling everybody how things should be done by using academics that have also never worked in the world out of academics, but they wrote books on it. Ooh. And same-sex couple invites Chick-fil-A's CEO to dinner. Yeah, you know, they're also having a kiss-in today, which is basically... A kiss-in? Okay, they had a zillion people yesterday. Remember, there is only so many people in the Democratic Party that actually support gay rights. Only so many, because... The reason they support it is because they contribute a lot of money trying to force their views on people. But we're going to try it very simply. People have been willing to die 
on the Muslim side and the Christian side, all the sides in the history of mankind for religious beliefs. So you think you're going to intimidate a people by threatening them? That ain't going to happen. And Romney mm -hmm. hires PR vet to hit back on Bain attacks. Oh, they are going after the Democrats unmercifully. There, he got somebody from Chicago. And Chicago is now going to play by Chicago Ooh, rules. Ooh, yeah, they're used to that. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Sometimes it's actually cheaper just to do like you're told. Well, you know what? I never hit. <laughs>